Hey guys, welcome back to the Ride of a Lifetime. I have got my tent now for the subscriber meetup with Life of Birch. So we are going to set it up really quick and just see a general like how it is and everything. So um, yeah, let's get cracking. So I got my Lone Rider tent and this is gonna go directly right behind me on the bike. So whenever I'm uh, going there, I will have this directly right behind me, but we're gonna set it up really quick, just see how it is. Um, just kind of get a general idea of how much room I have. I probably will be bringing one of my friends with me. So this is gonna house both of us, hopefully. Um, and uh, this is the one with the garage. So I'm not gonna put the bike in there. I think this is just gonna be a spot for us to kind of change and get ready. Um, so yeah, one of my buddies is coming, hopefully. So uh, it was the guy I talked about in one of my previous videos um, that uh, did the uh, MSF course with me. So yeah, let's open this thing up. But it's packaged really well. Um, got some reflectors right here and a huge caution thing on the back. So. Uh, I actually think I'm gonna put my backpack behind me and this behind that. And uh, this should give people a um, warning that I'm on a bike, like just an extra layer of protection, I guess. So let's open it up. I have my dog running around. So if you hear stuff, then that's my dog, so. <laughs> so it looks like when you open it up, you'll have instructions on how to set everything up. Um, shouldn't be too, too hard. It's just a tent, so um, yep. We'll, uh, we'll open it up, get all the contents out, and I'll show you guys how it is, so. So this is it uh, out of the package, and you can kind of see um, how well made this is. It's like, it's just really high quality material and everything, so. Um, this is the neatest it will be. Um, hopefully I can put it back exactly how this is and it looks beautiful. Uh, but yeah, let's crack into this bad boy. And I'm sorry I'm using like a makeshift uh, tripod, um, but it is what it is. Like I said, using a makeshift uh, tripod, so. But this is the uh, poles. We're gonna take those out. They are color coded with the tent itself, so it should be fairly simple to put all this together. So, yeah. So we switched to my phone and it is the next day because I ran out a lot of, uh, I ran out of sunlight, but not a big deal. So um, I got the tent set up. Um, I watched a couple videos on how to like pack it up and how to um, end up like making it easier to set up and tear down that ba basically that kind of thing. So um, yeah, everything's set up. It's super cool. So let me take you on for a tour. So this is the main cabin area. Um, this is where the motorcycle will go um, when I'm by myself, but uh, I am probably taking this trip with my buddy Jesse, like I mentioned. So uh, this will be for a lot of gear, that kind of thing. Has a bunch of loops for like lights, hanging up gear, that sort of thing. So that'll be super dope. Um, you can also buy an attachment too that allows you to take the garage portion that's this topper right here um, you could take that and get some poles for it and actually have a um hello doggy um you can have a uh, porch basically so um, that's super cool the main cabin area right here has on the outside has pockets so you can put all your like gloves toiletries that kind of thing all up in there and uh yeah so then this is We'll open this up. So this is the main inside, main cabin area. So you got some more pockets there, uh, right there, and then some in the corners. Um, so yeah, tons of room. I accidentally hit the, uh, the record button, so it stopped recording. So yeah, so tons of room for lots of stuff. So um, we're gonna have a really good time. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this week's video um i have some other gear that keeps coming in um throughout the week so uh then probably my next video will be me packing it down 
uh, getting everything on the bike, seeing how it feels when I ride. So yeah, that should be coming pretty soon. Um, and then I probably will do a practice run just to make sure that, um, probably only go like 40 minutes away from here. Maybe, maybe not even that, like 20, 30 minutes and, uh, find a campsite and camp. Yeah. See if I'm missing anything with the practice run and then kind of go from there because um when you're six hours away you don't want to forget something so uh but yeah uh if you could subscribe to the ride of a lifetime i'd greatly appreciate it and i will catch you guys in the next ride Peace.